What is the difference of yams and sweet potato? I don't really know. Save your body from cellulose fiber tree pulp, I don't know. It was only $3, I guess. Not everybody wants beef liver. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I post new videos every single week and today we're gonna get right into a grocery haul. These are like the things that I feel like I get as staples every single week and I feel like I can make a lot of different meals out of them and I'll kind of talk through them as I'm showing you what I got and kind of tell you what I have in mind to make as an actual meal. In no particular order, let's just hop right in. I kind of just threw everything on the counter before I put it away. First thing I got, not first thing, first thing I'm showing you is almond milk. I always get unsweetened almond milk. You don't need extra sugar. If you want to add some sweetness to your coffee or your morning tea, you can just add that in manually, but I find getting unsweetened is really good, especially if you're gonna use it for baking and stuff. We're just jumping right into a totally different category. I got these, that's the French side. These are the Yorkshire Valley Farms, uh, just organic chicken breast fillets that are breaded. They're really good. I actually used these in a crispy chicken Caesar salad in one of my previous videos and it was so good. So it's just a good like, convenient food to have on hand that you can just bake and have ready to go. Uh, this is my second time getting this. It's the Elmhurst Oat Creamer. I really like Elmhurst. They have a lot of like just regular milks and stuff. Uh, well, not regular milks, but like plant-based milks. They have like hazelnut and almond and super clean ingredients. This one is their French Vanilla Oat Creamer and I haven't tried this flavor. I tried their regular oat creamer and it was really tasty. Then I got uh, some coconut milk. I use that a lot in like curries and stuff. I just made a butternut chicken last night in the Instant Pot and then I added some chickpeas and green peas and served it with some rice. And it was a huge hit. Matt and I loved it and Sage had it for lunch today and she just gobbled it up. Some marinara sauce. I also got pizza sauce. I've been making homemade pizza so much lately. I just bought, oh, that's what I forgot. I bought two things of pizza dough, one second. I can't believe I, for, I was gonna forget to show that. Do you put anchovies on your pizza? Leave me a comment down below. Chloe behind the camera is all about fish on pizza. I don't know. I get it because it's salty and briny, but I would prefer olives, which I did buy. Um, but these are, so there's a local bakery. I know, right? There's a local bakery that makes delicious, I'm pretty sure this is sourdough, yeah, fresh yeast. So I'm pretty sure this is sourdough pizza dough. It's made with olive oil, and let me tell you, it makes the best pizza ever. It's from Homestead uh, Bakery, and wow, I got an extra one because I'm going to my mom's this weekend, and she needs to try the amazingness of this dough. And that's like a new weekly thing now in our household is homemade pizza. If you have not watched my reel slash TikTok that I posted of Sage eating her first pizza slice ever, I'll put a sneak peek here. Oh my God, it was the cutest thing ever, and she is a lover of the pizza. Kimchi, I love this brand. It's from Live Organics. It's delicious, kind of spicy if you've never had kimchi, and it's a fermented product, so high in probiotics. Smooth, natural peanut butter. I use this all the time. Oats, toast, smoothies, yeah, cookies. Strawberries, so you had some already for lunch. Parsley, not parsley, <laughs> cilantro, and this huge thing of kale that's like bigger than my head. I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet, but I can make kale chips, I can put it in my smoothies, uh, you can just uh, massage it and put it into a nice salad, lots of things. And I, I like getting kale because I feel like it lasts a long time in the fridge. And oh, my other green of choice, these are like my staples, is just fresh baby spinach. I feel like I need to switch it up and start getting arugula or like a spring mix or something, but spinach is just a good go-to in smoothies. I like it, it just, it doesn't last as long as the kale in the fridge. Carrots, if you have not watched my toddler meal prep video, I showed how to make delicious garlicky steamed carrots. They're so easy, perfect for toddlers, but you can eat them as well. And so I got more of those because Sage really likes them. Broccoli, organic broccoli was on sale. So I got two of those. I wanna try making like a broccoli pesto for Sage. So I got two of those. Also just roasted broccoli is delicious. And I've just been eating that a lot lately too. And then I'm pretty sure the sign said these are yams and I'm still like confused. What is the difference of yams and sweet potato? I don't really know. I've heard that they're the same thing. I've heard they're different. Like comment down below, are they different? These look different and it said yams. And these actually look really good. Like 
One of them is like cut open and look at how bright orange that is. I'm gonna make little like sweet potato fries, I think for us all. I think Sage is gonna like that too. She hasn't had like regular like fast food fries. So I feel like I need to make homemade fries so she can at least enjoy the wonders of a fry. Just like pizza. I'm like, her first pizza has to be homemade and then eventually she can get into the, the fast food step. I just feel like homemade tastes better and is obviously better for you. My new life hack is to now get a rotisserie chicken every single week. So I got this one. Um, always look at like the ingredients. Sometimes they're adding like oh, some extra stuff and like sugar and stuff. So this one is just, it's a free run chicken, water, uh, olive oil, herbs and spices and sea salt and it's just ready to go. You can shred that up, add it to a wrap, add it into a salad, eat it by itself. Um, it's just a good, quick protein snack or meal. And I feel like that's good, like handy to have for Sage as well. If I don't have any meat cooked up, I can just kind of put that on her plate. And she likes chicken. Lemons and limes, Gouda baby bells. Chloe already snuck in. There's a hole in here. These are really, really good. And I like that they come individually wrapped with like a wax coating. So you can kind of just throw them into your bag or something and have them ready to go. They're good for like picnics and stuff. This pepperoni is delicious. It's by this company, Mark's Country. What does it say? Map of the, wait, huh? It's by Mark's Mennonite Meats and it's the mild pork pepperoni. Delicious. Wow. It's a little bit more than like your average pepperoni, but it's so tasty and they're huge. They're really big pepperoni. Cheddar cheese. I've been testing out some like cheesy crackers for Sage. Lily's semi-sweet baking chocolate. I'm craving some chocolate chip cookies, so I'm gonna make that tonight. And I really like these ones. They're sweetened with stevia. I've talked about them so many times. I got two things of grass-fed unsalted butter. Um, this is what I like to bake with, but we also use this for sage. And then we save like the salted butter for like our toast. Cheap yogurt. I've been really enjoying this with uh, granola and fruit. I'll also add like some cinnamon and sunflower seeds. I had that for breakfast today. Mozzarella. I like to get like the ball of mozzarella and that's what I shred and put on my pizza. In case you didn't know, a lot of times when you buy like the pre-shredded cheeses, they actually have like it's, it'll be called like cellulose or something in it. I don't know, it's been a while since I looked into it. I'm pretty sure it's like wood pulp or some kind of fiber that's not really something you wanna be eating. So if you can just shred your cheese by yourself and you avoid any additives that help. Cause like think about when you're at home and you're shredding your cheese, it clumps together. So they gotta add something in it so it doesn't clump together. So might as well just shred it yourself. And honestly, it's cheaper. Save yourself money. Save your body from cellulose fiber tree pulp. I don't know. And then I have this ginger actually looks really good. I got some ginger. I feel like I've been missing my ginger in my smoothies. It gives it like a nice spicy kick. Also for like stir fries, I love to grate some ginger in there. I like to make ginger tea, which is really nice. Just if you have an upset stomach or you just want something after your meal, just to like settle your tummy. It's really nice. A tummy. I'm such a mom. Settle your tummy. Oh, randomly. I didn't realize it was in the middle here. I got a hair mask. I feel like my hair is blonder these days. I need the hydration, so I'm gonna try this. It's by Andalou. Oh, you guys know I don't drink coffee. Everyone's always questioning this, like, why don't you drink coffee? What do you drink instead? Like, or what are the benefits of herbal coffee? Really, I just drink herbal coffee because it tastes like coffee without the caffeine. But they're not bad for you either. It's just like roasted chicory and barley. This one has almonds in it, vanilla extract. This is by Ticino. And I actually, I took a little break from Ticino, not for any particular reason, and I'm falling in love with them again. They're so good. This one comes in tea bags and they're great. They're individually packaged, so you can take them on the go with you. If you don't drink coffee, you know the struggle because you go to whether you're like traveling or you're staying at someone else's house, like they don't have maybe your herbal coffee that or whatever drink that you like. So this is great because you can bring it on the go and this flavor, vanilla nut, is so tasty. It makes me feel like I'm having a coffee latte from Starbucks, but at home, especially if I steam some milk, something's gonna fall here. I'm gonna knock something over. This is the ketchup that I serve for Sage. Um, Matt recently was like, can we get regular ketchup? So I got like, I'll show you what I got, hang on. Okay, so this is in case you're wondering I still get organic ketchup but there's like two kinds there's like ones that are sweetened with like dates or no sugar at all the primal kitchen one is really good I don't think that one has any sugar but you know I get it this like people want the stuff that tastes like ketchup so this one is an organic one so it doesn't have like corn syrup and stuff in it no uh, food coloring I don't think what makes it so red just tomato 
go figure. Tomato, tomato paste, organic sugar, uh, vinegar, salt, onion powder, organic spices. So it's just like a simpler ingredient list. And then in case you're wondering, like also with uh, mustard, I just look for ones that have minimal ingredients. This one's just like yellow organic mustard. And did you know mustard is the healthiest condiment? Did you know that, Chloe? We're actually having burgers on the barbecue tonight, so we got all of our condiments for that. And bread and butter pickles from Bubby's. Mm. Mm, if you know, you know. Okay, we got pasta. We have so much pasta in the house now because I feel like it's a good go-to for Sage, and my life revolves around Sage's meals, okay? If Sage eats it, I'ma eat it. That's what we're carrying in the house. I'm kind of annoyed because I got this Camu spaghetti and I didn't realize I already have one. So not a big deal. So we're not gluten free in this household, but I try to mix up the grains, look for things that are less processed, more like less ingredients. And this one I think is just Camu. And also I just want to get Sage into different flavors. Like if all I serve her is plain pasta, like this one, if I am getting regular pasta, I do look for organic. Uh, just to avoid, you know, pesticides being sprayed and stuff because they're heavily sprayed on wheat products. Yeah, I try to switch it up because I don't want her just to think that's what pasta tastes like. There are other kinds and she also does have gluten-free. This one is a brown rice vegetable spiral pasta. That's fun. I also try to switch up the shapes. Keep it interesting. I switch up the bread. This one is the Stone Mill Bakehouse one. It's sprouted. I like sprouted bread or sourdough bread. That's usually what I look for. A lot of people ask me what kind of bread I get. And yeah, I switch it up all the time, but that's a good go-to. Unsweetened organic coconut, dried coconut. This is like a staple in so many recipes. I put it in a lot of the recipes in the Baby Health Nut Cookbook. It adds natural sweetness, fiber, healthy fats. And fun fact, I used to not like coconut, and really, I just didn't like the over, overly sweetened coconut. Get the unsweetened, it's still so sweet. I don't even, the other stuff tastes like artificial sugar coconut. I don't, I'm not a fan, not for me. Organic frozen whole green beans. The fresh ones, every time I go to the store, they're in this plastic bag, and they all look slimy, like every single time. And I, I don't know, anyway, so I got frozen. I figured we're, we're safe with the frozen. Eggs, we go through so many eggs. Baking, sunny side up. I got two things of wild skipjack tuna. I wanna make some fish cakes. I haven't made that in a bit. It's like a nice tartar sauce or something. Um, you can also use this in like a niçoise salad. I have one on the blog, put a photo. This one is skipjack, which is a smaller fish, uh, so less mercury. That's what my mom says and my mama is always right. For chicken, got some, this was on special. Got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I got that. Usually I don't get chicken breasts, I know. But I figured if I do it in the Instant Pot and add a lot of flavor, um, it's gonna be delicious. And I'm like, kind of want that like pulled, pulled pork style, but in the Instant Pot, trust me, it'll work, it'll work. Maybe not something you guys will be excited about. I got some beef liver, is this beef liver? Yeah, it's beef liver, which surprisingly for like grass-fed beef, I think this is grass-fed. It was only $3, I guess. Not everybody wants beef liver. I'm going to melt this into a nice meat sauce for Sage. She won't even know it's there. I might even try cutting it up and just seeing if she'll just eat it on its own. I don't know, just because I don't like liver doesn't mean Sage doesn't. And it's so good for you, high in iron, lots of nutrients. Maybe I should not tell Matt that I put it in and see what he says. Olives, so these are the ones I've been getting for our pizza. This brand, I don't even know how to say it, but this one's really, really good. We all love olives. Matt specifically loves green olives, and that's what I got um, to put on our pizza. I'll also just snack on them like while I'm making dinner and stuff. Pink lady apples, I'll have that. Even as like a bedtime, like a late night snack, I'll slice that up with some nut butter. I don't know, apples are just good because they last a long time. The only thing I didn't get is bananas, and I meant to because mine are looking a little, I mean, let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, my fruit bowl is looking sad right now. It's looking sad right now. <laughs> These bananas are so ripe. So these gotta get turned into either banana bread today or freezed for smoothies. So I forgot new ones. I have like a whole rotation system in this house with bananas. I'm always just like buy more. So we always have perfectly ripe bananas, but I, I messed up this week. You know what I got in my fruit bowl? Garlic, who puts garlic in their fruit bowl? This sweet potato, which maybe that is the difference. 
Sweet potato? Yam. I guess they are different. <laughs> Yams are huge. And then, like I said, with bread, I love sourdough. And this is the same bakery that does the pizza dough. It's a herb and cheddar sourdough bread. And it's so crusty and delish. It's just like sliced with butter is my jam. All right, there you have it. That's everything I picked up today at the grocery store. If you guys wanna check out my other grocery hauls, you can check out my playlist. I'll link it here and down below. And uh, leave your guests down below how much this cost. I kinda spent too much because I went to the health food store and try to do my whole grocery shop there. Do not recommend. Um, but yeah, leave, leave me your guesses down below because is it just me or food has gotten so expensive? I mean, I did find some good deals, but also spent too much money. So we are gonna be eating at home for the next like three weeks, no eating out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I post every single week and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.